Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happened today in history. Today in history, May 11th, 1981, Cats the Musical was pronounced by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Cats is based off the 1939 poetry collection of Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot. It tells the story of a group of cats named the Jellicles. One night, they will make a choice of the Jellicle choice, deciding which cat will ascend to a new life at the Heaviside layer. I wonder why cats have seven lives. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. One of the oldest sporting events practiced in the Middle East since medieval times is camel racing. Professional camel racing, like horse racing, is an event for betting and is a tourist attraction in North Africa as well as Australia. Camels are ridden by small jockeys, can run at speeds up to 40 miles per hour in short sprints, and they can maintain a speed of 25 miles per hour for an hour. A major camel race is the Camel Cup held at Alice Springs in Australia, but the longest race, ran over 1,500 meters, is the Bolia Desert Sands, which has a $500,000 cash prize in Queensland. The season is coming up soon as the races start in the second week of July. Now let's go to Yosdani for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey ham and cheese sandwich, sun slash veggie juice, baby carrots, ranch dressing, mixed fruits, mayo, and milk. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Peyton. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Remind your parents to get your yearbook today. Supplies are running out. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbucks.com. Scholars, this month will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. And finally, get ready because the book fair is almost here. The book fair begins Monday, May 17th. I can't wait. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 90 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like the clouds are out. Let's hope some of those clouds cover the sun to keep us cool. Now let's go to some of the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What do you call a blind dinosaur? And I don't think he's Saurus. Thanks, Samuel. That was another great joke. Today's for the boys are Tyler Raymond and Django the Paz. Happy birthday! Let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Barrow, Miss Fletcher, Miss I'm Ning Kwa, Miss Santi Stavon, Miss Miraz, Mr. Bonilla, Miss Yearwood, Miss Kane, Miss Manon, and Miss Hendrickson. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was if the red house is on the right and the blue house is on the left, where is the right white house? The correct answer to the riddle was Washington, D.C. Now for today's riddle how many sides does a circle have? Again, how many sides does a circle have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.